The Secretary General of the Non-Academic Staff Union of Universities, Nasu Pita Adeyemi, says non-teaching personnel and support staff in the nation's public primary and post-primary schools are not left out of the approved 60 to 65 percent years retirement age for public servants. Adeyemi announced this during the union's regular meeting held at the International Conference Center of the University of Ibadan in Oyo State. In the same vein, Labour leader Kayode Martins challenged the Oyo State Governor Shei Makinde to maintain his status as worker-friendly, as the union will stand against any anti-labour policy. There is no need for, for segmentation. And whatever is good for the Giza, we say is good for the Ganda. It's been approved nationwide, and NASU shouldn't be left outside the whole team. Both the teaching and the non-teaching complement themselves in the, in, the, in the schools and in the academic institutions. And we said that what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. But you see, it is not possible for everybody to teach. There must be some people that will also do the administrative work. And that's why we said, look, if you are approving these 65 years for the teachers, you should essentially also approve that retirement aid to the non-teaching staff. Well, you can see that even the federal government that mooted there, there is yet to implement it. In fact, uh, in fact to, to me, it is a misnomer. How many secondary schools does the federal government have for them to be making policy on secondary schools? The entire secondary schools of the federal government has cannot be up to the secondary schools in Ibadan land alone in Oyo State because they only have federal government colleges and what have you. But in Oyo State, we have over 600 secondary schools, 650 secondary schools. When we begin to educate our young ones and they have the knowledge, they will be able to drive uh, the kind of economy that we believe that we want Oyo State to have. So I want them to also be part and um, to be committed to that vision, uh, not to sabotage or to frustrate the effort of the government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.